Hello YouTube and welcome back to another TFT video with your buddy UC here and Chonk's treasure on TFT and we are going for loot subscription today so we can get some money so we can three star some five costs and this is a pretty scary game here because I believe there's two grandmasters in the game no they're not grandmasters they're master players that's still pretty good so that is a little bit scary I did start off with a way though, which is pretty fantastic. That is a very good start. I think the play here is just to go mythic and three-star everybody that I possibly can. So hopefully I get like a Cho'Gath right away or, hey, look, that's a Cho'Gath. Uh, he does not get multiplied at the moment though. He doesn't get multiplied yet, he only gets multiplied in player rounds, so there's no point to this square yet. But, we could just wait right up until the match starts and then go right in on it. Start three-starring all the units that I possibly can. I might even roll down just once or twice in order to find a few more one-cost mythic units. Because a mythic Kogma... Yeah, yeah, Kogma right here. There we go. I think that's a pretty good start right there. And then, what, maybe like another frontline unit, another behemoth would be pretty good. Um, you know, I think I'm going to take Malphite here over Yorick. Because not only would he be easier to three-star, he could also get uh, like a little bit of a heavenly bonus here. From a Nico or something like that. Like if I find Nico, I could play her. It would synchronize really well with Cho'Gath. Oh, I pre-leveled. I don't know if that was the best choice, but it's the choice that we have decided upon. And I'm gonna get Pandora's items to make sure that I can three. Oh, dude, this is amazing. Um, okay, so we have a Mythic Spatula for sure. I'm gonna put this sword right here. I'm gonna put this right there. And then I can add in another mythic unit. I might make Malphite a mythic. I definitely no, don't need him. Now, am I gonna slam some items or... I think I should just wait, right? I think I should just wait. I need two tiers because I need one tier to get the freaking item, you know? A tier. I need two tiers. I just need two tiers. And this guy, of course, oh, I think everybody got Heavenly. I think that, or not Heavenly. I think everybody got a spatula because it's part of the loot subscription. I was kind of wondering where it came from. But even so, I, I don't think it's too bad that we lose here. If we could get two spatulas, that would be even better. Because we definitely want to be able to hit 10 Mythic this game. That would definitely be a huge benefit to me in every way possible. Now... I will be able to two-star my, my little dude right here because of Wei, which is pretty amazing. But then I need another little dude to take his place so I can keep on multiplying him. Oh, there we go. Make it a two-star. Okay, there's one tier right there. All of your two-cost champions gain 180 health and 18% attack speed. All of your three-cost champions gain 150 health and 15% attack speed or all of your four cost champions gain a hundred I think I should take the four costs because that will be better in the long run yeah it'll really work out for the best in the long run so I'm definitely gonna do that um, I can't yet put in five mythic I'm trying to think of who would be the best but I, I really do think Malphite would be a solid choice to have here. Uh, do you need another tier? I don't think I need to freak out yet. I definitely think I need to slam the mythic spatula so I can make sure that I have that for now. And I can just relax. I can probably just relax. Um, I could make a hextech which would help with the healing. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I think Hextech will be good in the long run. And now all I have to do is slam a Spear Shoujin on him. Whenever I get a tier next. 
which hopefully will be soon. Um, it would be really nice to get it here right away. And it looks like I can three-star Kogma. I don't think I want to pre-level. I'm not sure that pre-leveling would be good here. Just because, what if I make... Okay, what about if I win? I will pre-level. And if I'm about to lose, I will not pre-level. Wait, even so, that seems kind of contradictory, actually. <laughs> you know what, we'll, we'll just see how this fight goes. We'll just see how this fight goes. It might go over well, even though I don't have a Spirit Shogun yet. Oh, this guy has Aurelia, dude. Aurelia is awesome. One of my favorite five costs of the whole set. Oh. Uh, it's looking not too bad. Oh. Is the Hextech working? It kind of working. Oh, uh, he loses this, though. That's okay. We probably want an earlier pick on the carousel. And I forgot to pre-level. Hehe. <laughs> That was my bad. That was silly. I do want the tier. But I think I will opt out for the Tom Kench. Just because I just want a three star units. And wow. I can't believe he did that. Actually, I totally can't believe he did that. I just don't appreciate that he did do that. I'm going to three star Kogma first. And then I guess I'll three star Malphite. Or whoever. They're all going to be three starred, okay? They're all... They all need to be three-starred, and I would really like to hit, like, ten mythic this game. Nice, okay. There's the spear for you, bud. Um, so, I'm actually gonna put Annie in, because mythic Annie is an absolute beast. She really, really is. So there's mythic Annie. She really is a monster. It's gonna be really awesome to see her go. And then I guess I'd, I'd just keep trying to three-star my Kogma. Maybe get, put some items on him so that he can do a little bit more damage. I'm going to make sure I put all of the Mythic units that I need in the Team Planner. Because I don't usually play Mythic. So I will want these here so I don't forget them. Because I will forget if I don't put them down there. Now this Annie is kind of huge with Mythic. Not only did I hit 5 Mythic last round, but I also got a Mythic Annie. Yeah, which is just enormous. So hopefully I get a good item for her. I'm trying to find another, uh, probably another item for Hui. I'm, I'm thinking an Archangel's on him, because he'll just constantly keep scaling as the fight goes on. I'm thinking that would be pretty good on him, although if I can get like a Radiant item or something like that. Ooh, Okay, um... Oh, I didn't realize it said I would get three. Whoops. Oh, well. That's not too bad. I can do this. And this. And I'll just build, uh, build tanky, you know? I might as well do it. I already have all the tank items. It seems like a good choice. And there's Cho'Gath, so I can start working on three-starring him next. Unless I start finding some really high-cost units and just multiplying them. I'm thinking that just three-starring everything would be a pretty good choice. Especially since they're all getting a bunch of bonus stats from Mythic. Now, let's see. Ooh, a, uh, a Zaya back there. I hadn't, uh, I don't think I fought this guy yet. Dude, the Hextech was a really good choice, I think, because Annie's just kind of healing very hardcore between all of the bonuses that she's receiving right now. Nice. Nice, dude. I think my team is actually pretty strong here so far. And we're not too behind on Eco, even though our streak has been a little debatable. Okay, that is almost a three-star Kogma. Just in two more two more battles, I'll be able to three-star him. And he keeps getting bigger because of Mythic. Who am I missing right here? I need... I just need one more Mythic, so like... Nautilus would be pretty awesome. Lilia would be great. Lilia and Nautilus is really what I want here to reach seven. How many other spats do I need? I just need one more. So one more spatula and I can actually reach ten mythic, and that's it's really what I'm gonna need. I'm gonna try for that the whole time, pretty much. Oh, a rod. Oh, darn it. Oh, 
So a little guild here. An arcanist. Do I really want to... Well, ideally, what I would like to do... Ooh, I don't know, man. Maybe I just slammed the Nasher's Tooth on my way there. I don't think it'd be bad, but I think I'm getting... I'm going to end up getting, like, a really good item anyway. Like, I think I'm going to... I'm going to just do it, though. I'm just going to do it. I think it would. it's kind of the right choice. And then I, I really do want to keep this tier somehow, just in case... I mean, I, I'm just going to need it for so many reasons, right? Like, especially the spatula reason. That's really why I'm... The main reason that I'm holding on to it. Oh, wow. This guy's Wukong is just crazy. He's beating me up. <laughs> I mean, it was a good try there, way, buddy. It was a good try. Mythic Spat? No Mythic Spat. But maybe Mythic Spat, actually. Nope. That's not it. Come on. Nope. Uh, I really am going to be sad not taking that. Okay. I'm going to take this. I believe that my team will be able to stall pretty good. Like, they'll be able to stall pretty well. So. And now I just need to level up one more time for 7 Mythic. Because I'm thinking 7 Mythic is the way. Heh. <laughs> the way. You know what I mean. There he is. He's right there. So, yeah. 7 Mythic is going to be the way here. Uh, I almost have a 3-star Kogma. Although, I'm not sure how how crazy that's going to be. You know, you know, part of me really wanted to just, like, fast level 7 and put in 7 Mythic. But that would be not the greatest of ideas, I don't think. Oh, this guy's going very, very deeply into Dryad. He's re-rolling his Radiant item back there. You know, part of me does regret not putting an Archangel Zonhui, just because now he's kind of just stuck doing that much damage, you know what I mean? Like, oh, wait, wait, I took Ascension then, so it actually might have been a super big brain play, actually. I, I didn't consider how much, how much of a boost he's actually getting from Ascension, especially since because he has that on him, he's just able to stall so much longer. Now, I don't want to roll down, really. Like, I, I don't want to roll down at all. Oh. I mean, that definitely sped up the process for my Cho'Gath. And then once I three-star him, I believe Tom Kench is probably next. Unless I, like, get super lucky and high roll another way, then I'm going to start trying to three-star him right now. Plus, a two-star way would be pretty monumental a monumental addition to my team here uh, it looks like I'm kind of getting it further away from being first pick on the carousel though but ooh, I mean I <laughs> did another Annie would be good too for a two-star Annie that would definitely be very very good all right I'll take that dude almost got that three-star Cho'Gath too Three-star Cho'Gath is right on the cusp of being acquired. He's almost there. He's so close. Too bad I couldn't make five gold there. My my five eco is ruined. There was, there's a girl right there. You see her? You guys see her right there? I would take her if I can. Come on. Oh, come on. You don't need that. Bro. Yeah, that's right. You don't need that. Nice. Okay. Well, Annie, two-star Annie would be so cool right now. I do think I'm going to wait, though. Oh, this is getting this is getting hard now. There's a lot of decisions to be made. Let's see what Chunk gives me. Little, little champ dupes. Little baby champ dupes. You know what? I would take those little baby champ dupes. And I will go ahead and do that, and then... Shields? Oh, man. Um, so that would be super good on Tom. That would also not be the worst on a three-star Cho. 
Dude, I mean, I just want to give it to him because I've kind of three-starred him, right? I'm going to give it to Tom, though. Tom's already, like... You know, he's... Oh, man, he... Oh, man, you guys see that? That's fine. That's... That's fine. It's whatever. I think... I think my team is still pretty large. Oh, and uh, I'm very close to hitting the 7 Mythic bonus. 7 Mythic Spite is going to be very large. And look at look at my 1-star Tom go. It was the right move to give him that, dude. I think my team is working really well in tandem with all of the little neat things that I picked out for it. Okay, well. That is 7 Mythic. Just really need one more spatula to reach 10. I really would like to reach 10. Uh, what else to do here? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm really just holding that tier just for dear life, really. Uh, nope. Okay, well, two star toms. Two star toms a very good addition to a, to my team here. He he was already tanking very well at uh, just one one cost one star. But now that he's two-starred, I think he'll be very large with those items on him. Oh. Oh, that big explosion, dude. And he's close. And he's close to getting three or two-starred. Dude, maybe I should three-star her. Right? That'd be pretty sick. If I just three-starred Annie, I didn't even think about that. But, hey, I got a mythic Annie now. It's uh, very doable. Oh. Okay, I'm just getting two stars handed to me now. I think... I mean, she's very findable at level 8. But I probably want to go level 9. Oh, wow. These dudes are... Did he just hit a two star? No, I thought he hit a two star Relia. I was going to be a little worried. I was going to be just a little scared about that. Dang, dude. Um, now I, I really do want, like, DPS items. Oh, a support anvil. Whenever a shield on the shield... Oh, okay. I'm in between. Oh, okay, well. Prowler's Claw. Kid get, get a Deathfire's Grasp and start, you know, giving my, my dude here some items. I think I'm going to take this Unending Despair, though. And put it on Cho'Gath. And then this is a full item. And I'm gonna choose Nasher's Tooth for my boy here. And this as well. I mean, he, he has three starred, right? I know he's just a one cost unit. But I do have to admit that he is a three star unit. And uh, more damage is just kind of welcome right now. I think that's the one thing I'm missing for my team. You see that? Oh, yeah, we just... Wow, this guy is really strong. This is one of those master players that I was talking about. So, yeah, strong dude. Very strong dude with his heavenly, uh... Heavenly comp. Yeah, six heavenly, three of those dudes. He doesn't even have trick shot in, and Teemo's kind of carrying, isn't he? Now it's Wukong and Kane. Well, yeah, look, Teemo's still doing really well. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, stationary support... Call the chaos I might take. I love that augment so much. That augment is so much fun. Baboom! Your champions deal 75% more damage for... Oh, man, that's cool, too. I'm gonna take this. It's just gonna, just gonna be the most fun. Um, what did it give me? Experience? 40 rerolls that persist between rounds. Okay, well... I might have to take advantage of that. Oh, there's, there's Annie. Okay, like a, a very early three-star Annie. would be kind of large, wouldn't she? And I guess I'll do this for now. Oh, I suppose I could put a, a new deer just to have... Yeah, a deer might be better. You put a deer in and give him some items. Oh, who did he three-star? Kabuko. That is a very large Kabuko right there. Dude. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna try to 3-star Annie. I have to see how many of her are out there. 
but uh, she's definitely worth three starring. She'll do a lot of damage. Oh, dude, look, Pogma just sniped that Azir back there. Pogma definitely sniped that Azir back there. Dang, I really wanted to be level nine before I started rolling down all crazy like this, but. I think I should chill. Who am I gonna add? Uh, probably a Nico, right? Not Nico. The other chick, the other the other one. You know what I'm talking about. Lilia. Okay, um is there any there's one Annie out there that I see. I think I'm gonna roll down for her, dude. I just see one Annie out there, and that's it. Uh yeah, I think I should. I mean, the faster I 3-star Annie, the more likely I definitely am to win here. Um, just because of the vast health advantage that I'll have. Oh, wow. My board is really, really strong, though. That's for sure. I would 2-star all of my board here, too. Hmm. Oh yeah, I said I would replace Galio for Udyr, which I think I'll definitely consider. It's just Udyr, right? I'll do more damage in CC and stuff. No, 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 but Galio. Galio has a huge shield, dude. Galio has kind of an enormous shield, I don't know. It's a little bit of a hard choice. I'll just take you, because you're worth the most gold, and that's kind of what I need right now. It really is just one Annie that's gone, right? the one Annie. Ooh, Aurelia. Dude. <laughs> Dude. I, will not hold back. I guess this? The 43 rerolls. Pretty insane. Okay. Um, I don't really know why I decided to roll down there. Oh, uh, yeah, I, it's for Annie. It's 100% just to try to find Annie. That's what it was. Can't believe I forgot. I'm just going to keep one bard because there's not really a point in keeping multiple bards at the moment. I have two Hodges, which is just silly, really. Very, very silly of me to have that many Hodges. Um, I could do this. Don't really care for Aurelia right now, I'm not gonna lie. I really just want a three star Annie and then go for like a two star way. Even though that's kinda kinda thinking small at the moment, I feel like. Infinite item remover. Absolutely. Absolutely this. I'm gonna go ahead and just transfer these over. I know these will be quite useful. Another deer, funny. Yeah, okay, how many do I have? Does it say? It doesn't say. So, uh, I definitely wasn't counting how many rerolls I was using, that's for sure. 76. I, I wonder if I take the... Because I don't want the mythic stacks to fall off of her if I take magnetic remove. But I feel like her items are really good, so... I don't think I have to. I don't think I have to magnetic remove on her right now. Oh, whoa. Three stars that. It's a Volley Bear. Volley Bear is huge. Oh. Oh, the, the Ascension is so good with this comp that I've made. Nice. Giving Lilia items was definitely a power move that I'm glad I did. I don't know if everybody else is... If anybody else is going mythic, it doesn't look like it actually to me. I, never I don't really want that. I mean, what is the point of this training dummy even really? I guess I'll put it right there. And uh, I'll leave Galio. Dude, Galio builds a shield, doesn't he? Ah, but he's not mythic though. 
He's not mythic, though. He's not getting the mythic bonus, so. I mean, maybe this this would be good. It's unending despair. I'm close. Very close to Annie. Very, very close to Annie. Um, dang, I'm not sure. Maybe a Morello's? I'm gonna do... Oh, no, you know what? Oh, this sucks. <laughs> this kind of sucks. These items aren't... Uh, aren't the greatest at the moment. Now, I'll do this. And... I'll... I guess I'll, like... Yeah, I, I have a pretty strong front line, right? So... I think I need to go level 9, though. So I'm gonna just chill out for the moment. So I can go level 9. I think level 9 is when I'm gonna hit all my stuff. Even though I've kind of uh, spent a lot of my rerolls at this point. What level is this guy? Yeah, look, like this guy's level 9 and working towards level 10. He's definitely gonna try to 3-star some 5 costs. Which is what we're here for as well. I just, uh... I'm on a little side quest here. To try to get this Annie. To a big old three star. Come on, I could do it right here probably. It's a lot of Lissandras. And another Lilia. Oof, that's a tough choice actually. I'll do this. I'll do this because I'd probably rather have a three-star Lilia. Uh, wow, I knew I was fighting this guy. This guy's buff. He's a little scary. I'm pretty sure he's seven heavenly. Pretty sure he's acquired the seven heavenly. I also really need a two-star Hui. Two-star Hui would be very, very good right now. Wow, he absolutely destroyed my Tom. My poor Tom Kench, dude. Oh, oh, that was good. I was able to defeat him. I was wondering if that was going to work out. So, uh, I don't know that the 10 Mythic Dream is, is lost somewhere in translation right now. Plus, I would have to reach level 10 if I was going to. Oh, no, this oh, that was a great item right there. I was just too busy talking to see how good it would have been. You know what I could do? I could do this. Just for more gold, you know? Dang, dude. That was just one more roll for good luck. You know how it is. Now, this Edge of Night kind of sucks for me. I won't lie. Uh, I do kind of want to slam it, just for the sake of slamming. I'm going to do this. I think this would be kind of funny. If anything, I could reforge it or something, you know? I just just feel like trying my best to win this round. It's a lot of shields and stuff. I, Dude, I almost have a 3-star Tom Kench as well. 3-star Tom Kench would be pretty enormous with all the mythic stacks that he has and all the items that he has. Yeah, look at him. Even at 2-star, he just doesn't go down. Oh. There's a way. I would love that way. I would love that Lilia. Lilia would be good as well. I think I would like Way the most, though. Yeah, well, he's gone. I guess Lilia is going to be our next choice here. Uh, come on. Yeah, yes, I'll take that. No, no worries, brother. I'll take that. Dude, very close to Annie. I didn't actually check if there were any Annies in that carousel. Don't care for Bard. Oh, there's way right there. There's one champ dupe. I'm gonna do this. Oh. And here's Annie. Here she is. There you go. Let's do it. Okay. And now we could work on three-starring somebody else if we want. Um... Definitely trying to three-star somebody else here. Uh, I guess I'll keep that. 
think I could just chill. I, I really need to check if anybody's like about the three star five costs. This guy is not really. Hopefully the three star Annie just kind of, yeah, I mean, wow. Wow, she's, she's so big. She's so large. She did 15,000 damage there. That's just insane. Oh, this guy's 10 story weaver though. I don't know if we beat that. I had pretty high hopes. For sure. Um, but I don't know. Would need... I don't know. I don't know if I could beat that, dude. The power of a it's a little scary. I'm very close. Oh, I'm very close to a lot of things. Okay, I think this is what the best I could have, even fighting that that dude. Oh, he three-starred Kane. That's a three-star Kane right there. Oh, and he has a golden remover also. Uh, this is definitely going to hurt him quite a lot, though. I don't know if he can beat this. That Annie, uh... That Annie's really, really good. I don't know, dude. Without 10, 10 Mythic, though, like... I don't know if I could get that guy with 10 Story Weaver. I mean, 10 Story Weaver is just crazy. 10 Story Weaver is just crazy. I am not sure how we go about uh, defeating this here. That's huge. Looks like he's going for Aurelia. And this guy... Ooh, okay, well, I mean, we knew it would be kind of a crazy game, right? I think these are the two master players right here, actually. Which is fitting. It's fitting that they would be here. Come on. Just, uh... Like a million Lissandras. Oh, I just skipped past Tom. I cooked too hard. I cooked myself. I need, uh, Lilia. Man, maybe I shouldn't have sold that there. I don't think I should have sold that. I am pretty healthy. Although, I don't know how long I could keep this up for, you know, with all the crazy stuff here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh. That was painful. That was very painful for me to watch. Uh, even 3-star Lilia, I'm not sure how, how effective... That's gonna be a rage blade. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. There's two star dude guy. I mean, come on now. That's not gonna. It's not gonna do anything crazy, right? Asher's. I don't know. This guy. Three star K and is right there. Oh, I don't know if I can live enough rounds to three star Lilia as well, but I really do need somebody to do damage on my team. Oh, he can't get past Annie. He can't get past Annie though. Okay, good. We lived another round. One of them got Elamed. I kind of figured that this would happen. Uh, now it's just us and this dude. He's holding my Lilia. Because he really doesn't want me to three star her. I respect that. Is empty without empty. I respect that, dude. Yikes, I uh, maybe shouldn't have done that. I don't know if there's a way that I can win this. Maybe if I three star Lilia might be the only way. A little broke. He's a little broke here. Maybe if I can get Annie to just walk right back there. But I think she might just be eliminated on the first cast. I don't know. If, I mean, she definitely casts, but... Come on, come on, come on, cast it! No, dude! Okay, well... Oh! Oh, man. Okay, three-star Lilia might do it, dude. Maybe. Maybe. Not Not 100% certain. But, uh, she might, might do it. There's another mythic... I don't know if, if it's too late or not. I mean, I... Can't go level 10. I could put Mythic on somebody else. Um, could 
put it on his ear. Stick to the plan. We have a plan. Oh, dude, dude. I gotta think. What mythic units do I need? I hope I didn't just roll past it there. I know who I need. I need, um... The girl, Lilia? No. Uh, Nico. Nico! I need a Nico. And I do have another mythic. So, this. Um... This. Oh, dude. I mean, obviously, he got a bunch of insane items as well. I'm only... Oh, wait, wait. I got the three-star Lilia. I got the three-star Lilia here. Oh, I'm really close to Huey as well, though. Maybe I just sell for Huey. I think selling for Huey might be the way. But, uh... I mean, he might hit Aurelia. Right? He's very close to Aurelia. I don't know if I lose here. If I... I wanted to save it, man. I wanted to save it. Oh, no. She's on the wrong side, man. He's just out maneuvering me at this point. Uh, is it over? Nope, not yet. Okay. I might be able to hit... The way. I mean, is selling everything the right answer? I think so. I think I can start selling stuff. Oh, a three-star Aurelia. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not over yet. I mean, I, he already has that. So, um, nothing is actually deterring me from just... Ah, oh, man. Oh, I couldn't. Uh, no! No! I almost had it! Uh, one more way! He would have died. He would have died. Well, if you enjoyed that, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. GG.